Well, hello. Hello, hello. Long time no talk, kind of. Not super long. I've just decided to take next week off officially from going live because I haven't done that since I started, right? Unless I was in the hospital and a couple of times when I was sick on Taco Tuesday, I came on on Friday. So I haven't taken up like a chunk of time off in over a year and I'm a workaholic. Now, it's not a proud thing. It was growing up in my family. Workaholism. You got time to lean. You got time to clean. That is how I came up. So, I have a strong work ethic. Anyways, today what I'm doing, these are not for sale. Turn up your miracle ear. These are not for sale. These are my own personal collection. Some of the opal glass from my personal collection. And I'm doing this video purposely today because tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Jen Sunday Bobbles is going to be doing a live show and tell discussion, you know, deep dive on opal glass and saffron versus saffron. Saffron's proud they are. Just as. Yes. Some saffron's pretty, but most of it's kind of fugs. But I'll let her go into, you know, the this and the that's about the things of the brickadacow, brickadacow. Anyways, here's my saffron necklace. Ah, ha, ha, said it, saffron. I mean, it's beautiful. But I think what I'm going to do, I don't know yet. I was either going to convert it to a bracelet, which could be quite simply done, or I'm going to hump it to my jeweler and have him make rings. Oh, rings, ring a dang a dang as. So, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the saffron. I forgot I'm wearing one of my little opal glass bracelets. This one I've had forever. We'll start with this 1950s, 60s. And I, you know, had always kept it in my bathroom. So, the metal got a little oxidized. This is Japan. Um, while testing for silver, right? And the air, the 18 karat's really strong. So it's oxidized, non-precious metals. But I still love this little weirdo. It's my little weirdo. I love it too much. Fabulous thing. Opaline is the one thing. Opaline, opalite, opal glass, opalescent glass. Um, that I don't tire of. I know I wear all these bracelets, and a lot of time people have said, oh, you moonstone. It's like, no, no. Like moonstone, but my consistent forever love has been opal glass. Because I also love opal. Opal, opal. Opal, opal. This is opal glass. Let's see if you can see the fire. This is actually stainless steel. The highest grade, actually, for jewelry making. Well, you'd have to get up in the light to see the fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm here all day. And then I'm wearing these. Also, opal glass. This is one of my all times. Love, love, love. How oh, I love, love, love. Because I'm not gonna. Just like a whole crystal ball with a black claw. Saffron already said that? Yeah. Okay. Veda V begin. Okay, well this is it. These are all are these all Japan in front of me? No. These three are. So just the difference in like these are almost identical. <laughs> if you know me for years, I buy things in at least twos. Sometimes more, but at least double. Sometimes triple, quadruple. It's kind of what I'm known to do. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here. So this is Japanese 1950s opal glass. And these, I've had a, an ass tonnery of these specific pagoda bracelets. Um, but see, okay, well, it doesn't, you can't really see them unless I'm showing you another one. The glass is just a little bit different color, but I love, like this one's super flat. This one's wedgied, but then it goes burp. Then you have the ones that are all fat, 
you know, not whatever that is, an incline. But yeah. Yeah. Then this, you rarely see these in circles. In circles. They're beautiful. Then these two are basically the same. A little different. This is sawtooth and this is prong set. Same kind of idea, same time period. Same loveliness. Lava, lava, lava. I saw lava, lava, lava. So I don't know that that was super helpful, but just like a like a mini, a mini situation, like a prequel to Jen Sunday Bobble's whole situation, where she's gonna nerd out. Oh, she gonna nerd out. Uh, so I am planning on doing um. I think like a pre-recorded sales video tomorrow since Sunday, since that's when I would, tomorrow evening, when I would usually do my preview pre-sale for my Taco Tuesday. And then maybe I might do a pre-recorded old school because I started pre-recorded video sales videos and I called them Taco Tuesday a couple of years back. And then I just morphed into the live version of that. So I might do that as well. I'm not trying to overpromise and under deliver, but I'll do for sure one pre recorded sales video. And this, in case you don't, you know, in case you're going, well, wait, you got enough. Nope. This is old Calcedone. And somebody asked me in Sue's last week. Maybe it was Sue that asked me because I said I don't like garnets. Now, listen, it's my birthstone, right? Every birthday, every year, I got a little garnet fat. Me, me, me. So I don't know if that's why. It's not that I don't like garnet. So anyways, Sue or somebody asked me in that chat, well, what do you like? What kind of stones do you like? And I said, magical. I said, magical. So to me, something like this is magical. You know, you look at a garden, it's like, oh, yeah, that's great. The garden has a point. I mean, it's bohemian. Meh, meh, meh. And it just doesn't, doesn't magical me out. Had a lot of it, but I just, you know. And then... Chalcedony is another, Moonstone is another, Magical. And that's, you know, that isn't, I've never really liked the any of the semi-precious, which is garnet, or precious, and diamonds, and emeralds, and rubies, and sapphires. I mean, if I could afford like a $40,000 beautiful sapphire, maybe, but not really. I'd rather just have my little janky, affordable, magical pieces. Because they, I get lost in them. Look at that. Okay, remember that's Calcedony. Not that, that. Okay, so I'm going to put Jen's link here. Well, in the description. You're going to have to go to the description. These are not for sale. Personal collection. Part of my personal collection. Yeah, there's more. Um, but, but what? totally lost my train of thought. I've got no food left to eat. I don't mean I'm out of food. I mean I'm out of choices for food that don't F with me. I went down the blue cheese rabbit hole and was like, nope. Oh, no. That F'd me up. Bad, bad, bad. So tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. live. She's live. Jen Sunday Bobbles. Edumacate yourself on Safrine Safrette. And all opal glass. All things opal glass. Oh, I have this pretty bracelet. I'll just tell you the quick story. I don't know where I got this forge and love it. Um, It's not sterling. It's old. I was sorting, you know, through my room yesterday. And there was, you know, one of those gift boxes like such. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Like so, right? So I went to put them in the gift box drawer where I hoard them and then reuse them. And as the box felt just a little weight to it, and there's tissue and it was taped, I'm like, wait, is there something in here? And this was in there. I don't know if I bought it a month ago, six months ago. My guess is I bought it from somebody on YouTube where this wasn't the only piece I bought. Because sometimes I get so much, you know, personal jewelry, I'm not going to lie, that 
I, I, over, I miss things. I'm just in such a like, <gasps> let me look, let me open the blah, 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 blah. And then, so yeah. I mean, this wasn't going to go in the trash. It was just going to go in the drawer to be not found again for another year. But I love this piece. Love that. Okay. Now I'm for real going to go. So, well, I'll either have a pre-recorded tomorrow or Tuesday or both. How about that? And about it. I'm going to get the bracelet back on. Get on me. I'll see you soon. My sweet tribe, I shall miss you. I will do little reels as well. You know, I'm not going to be like just off of YouTube and off of internet. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I haven't lost my whole mind. Just, you know, taking a little bit of a breather. I'll see you soon.